Hi and welcome to your practice. This sequence will be about getting you grounded and centered and breathing steadily. And by the end of the class, you will hopefully be feeling more centered and relaxed. So my name is Rachel Young and I'm your yoga teacher. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please do so now. And every week I'm releasing a new video for you to follow with me at home. So let's get started. Come onto your hands and knees and line your shoulders up above your wrists, hips above the knees. And we're going to do a few cat cows to loosen up the spine a little bit. So take an inhale breath here, pressing the tops of your feet down. As you exhale, round the back, press your shins into the floor, press your hands into the floor and lift the belly button. Inhale the other way, chest bone moves forward, collarbones wide and looking forward. Exhale, tip the tailbone under, keeping those arms straight. Inhale, tailbone tips up, broaden across the collarbones, inhaling. Exhale, one more time. Inhale. As you exhale, tuck your toes round your back and come to downward dog. Press your palms into the floor, move your inner heels back. And if it's your first downward dog of the day, you might want to bend your legs. Take a couple of breaths here. And slightly move your feet back a little bit. Inhale, come forward to a plank. Bend your knees slightly, exhale back to downward dog. Two more like that. Inhale, flowing forward into a plank. Exhale, downward dog. Inhale, into plank. And exhale, downward dog. Reposition your feet into downward dog. Inhale, lift the left leg. Exhale, come forward. Bring the knee to the chest and step the foot between the hands and take the back heel down to the floor. Inhale, rise up to reverse warrior. Bend your front knee, drop your hips. And exhale, straighten the front leg. Inhale here. And exhale, bend your front knee, take the forearm to the thigh, turn the heart up to the sky and sweep the top arm over. Stay here to breathe. Inhale, straighten the leg, come to the center. Exhale, bend the knee again. Warrior two. Really stand into that back leg. Inhale, straighten your leg. And in exhale, fall, reach forward. Trikonasana, turn your heart up to the sky, keep moving that front hip back, tipping the pelvis up to the sky, come all the way up to the center, take your hands to your hips and turn your big toes to face forward, inhale here, take the arms out wide and exhale your hands behind your back, clasping your hands, rest your thumbs against your lower back bending the elbows, inhale here, and as you exhale, fold all the way down to the floor. Keep the elbows bent as you lift the hands away from the back, bring your weight into the centers of your feet, lift up through the front of your thighs, let yourself root down into the ground through the feet as you lift up into the inner groins. Release the hands down to the floor. Bend your back leg so you the other leg, turn all the way around to face the back of your mat. Take the back heel to the ground. On an inhale, rise up to reverse warrior on the other side. And then come to straighten that leg. Bending the leg again. Now we're going to come into extended side angle. So reaching the top arm over, keep the front leg nice and bent. Ankle below the knee. Inhale to come up. Trikonasana, as you exhale, reach forward, get a nice long line on that right side of your waist before then turning your ribcage up to the sky into Trikonasana, triangle pose. Breathing here. Inhale, come up. Exhale, warrior two. Gazing towards the front hand. Reaching out through the back hand so you feel a nice stretch and broadening across the collarbones.
Take your forearm to the thigh, reach the top arm over. Come back up to the center, big toes face forward. Clasp your hands behind your back again. Inhale, lift the chest and exhale, fold all the way down. Remember you can bend your knees if you need to. And if it's too much for you to have your hands up like this, then you can take them to the floor or onto blocks. Inhale, lift up halfway. Exhale, hands to the hips. Inhale, come up to stand. Bend your front knee, so that's the left leg. Turn all the way around, face the front. Step to the top of your mat. Inhale, breathe in, bring the arms up. Exhale, hands to the heart. Step your right leg back, nice and wide. Take a really wide stride here. Turn the heels in and the toes out. So check that your knees are tracking your toes and you're going to drop your hips, opening up the arms. Take the hands behind the back again, clasping them behind your back. Drop a little bit deeper. Sit down into your heels. A bit deeper now. Come to stand. Turn your big toes forward. Inhale, reach the arms up. And exhale, hands to heart. Turn to face the front of your mat. Step to the top of your mat. Inhale, sit down into your heels. Feet are together. Reach the arm out into Utkatasana chair pose. Sweep the arms out wide and clasp the hands again behind the back. Inhale, lift up through the front of your rib cage. Drawing the lower belly back as you do. Breathe a little bit deeper, drop a little bit deeper. And fold forward, keeping the hands clasped to Uttanasana. If this is too much for you, take your hands to blocks or the floor. You can bend your knees as much as you need to. Take the hands down. Inhale, Ardha Uttanasana, halfway lift. Exhale, step back to plank. Inhale here into plank and very slowly exhale yourself all the way down to the floor. Inhale into cobra, just a baby cobra. Exhale to child's pose. Take the forehead to the floor. Breathing here. Take your knees nice and wide and let yourself relax. Letting the rib cage and chest and shoulders soften. Releasing any holding in the neck and the face. Taking deep breath deep into the hip joints. As you exhale, let them soften. Slowly roll up to kneel. Swing your legs out in front of you now and come all the way onto your back. So we're going to cool down now with a twist. So bring both knees in towards you. Take the arms out so that hands are in line with your shoulders and bring the knees and the feet all the way to the right. Make sure that as much as you can, the Lower half of your torso is rotating down to the floor and the top half of your torso is rotating up to the sky. Now if it's comfortable on your head, you can turn your head the other way. Taking some deep breaths. Make sure your neck is comfortable. You can readjust your head with your hand and be gentle on your neck. Bring yourself onto the back, all the way over to the other side. Turning your head if it's comfortable for the neck. Coming onto your back. Bend your knees, bring them in towards the armpits, and either take your hands around the thighs, the calves, or the outside edges. Your legs nice and wide, ankles above the knees. Taking an inhale down into the lower back. 
As you exhale, draw the lower belly down, flattening the lower back to the ground. Lifting the feet up into the hands or up to the sky. And slowly lower the feet to the floor. Extend both legs out onto your mat, coming into Shavasana. So a nice short practice to release tension, get you grounded, get you centered. And then allowing yourself at least two or three, maybe five minutes of Shavasana. It's important to allow this part of the practice to happen. Staying here as long as you need. Relaxing the eyes and the face, the neck, the shoulders, the arms, upper back, middle back, lower back, pelvis, upper legs, lower legs, feet and toes, whole body, whole body, whole body, staying here as long as you need. <laughs> 